What I want to talk about today is how to reduce noise and manage noise in the Yaesu FT710 in five easy steps. Actually, it's within five areas of the radio. And we're going to look at these five areas. And I've got the radio on a large display. And then we'll be going down and looking at the front of the radio at times for the buttons which we will select. But let's just start up here. This is the main display of the radio and you can see that we're set for uh, 7 megahertz, 7 megahertz band. And let's just start with the things that we need to look at to reduce noise. The first thing that you want to do to reduce noise is to look at your receiver and once you find the frequency in which you want to talk on, what you need to do is you need to tune your antenna to that frequency. This provides the best possible signal quality that you can get based on the antenna being tuned. And I've already done that. As you can see right here, it says tune. So I'm not going to do it again. But what you do is you hold in this tune button right here to tune your antenna to the frequency that you're on. And I believe it goes, uh, it tunes to 10 kilohertz band uh, when you hold it down and you tune the antenna. So the first thing you want to do is tune your antenna. Okay, let's move on to the second thing that you want to do. And I'm going to use the big monitor here. What we see here is we have four areas we have, and I'm going to look at these backwards. We're going to start on the left and work uh, on the right and work our way to the left simply for uh, one reason, which you'll see in a moment. The first thing that we're going to look at is the automatic gain control. And what this does is this compensates for fading and other propagation effects that you may run into when you're using the radio. So the best thing to do to keep noise down and to keep the signal that you want to hear uh, readable is to have AGC set to auto. And you can see that there's several settings here. There's auto, fast, medium, and slow. If you want to know what each of those mean, you can look in your manual and it will tell you. But for today's example, we're going to leave this set to auto. Okay, DNF. This is your digital notch filter, which has the ability to notch out pulses and things like that that may come on to the frequency that you're listening to. As you can see, there's two settings for that, off and on. We're going to leave that to on. All right, the third thing that we're going to look at is the IPO feature. As we click on this, we'll see that there's IPO, AMP1, and AMP2. AMP1 is a good general setting for day-to-day -day use. Uh, of course, it's depending on your area and the no noise floor in your area. But what AMP1 does is it provides a 10 dB gain for what you're listening to, this, the frequency that you're tuned to. So you see there's an AMP1 and an AMP2. An AMP2 provides a 20 dB gain. It basically puts two amplifiers in series and provides a 20 dB gain. So what I generally do based on the conditions where I'm at is I'll leave it set for AMP1. The, the thing about the amplifiers is what they do is they're not only going to amplify the signal that you're trying to listen to, they're going to amplify the noise also. So if you're in a particularly noisy location and you get set it for AMP2, then what you're going to do is you're just going to increase the gain on your noise also. Now, if you happen to be in a place where the band is super noisy, particularly in your lower frequencies, 
you may be better off setting it to IPO. But generally on a day-to-day -day basis, based on where I live and the noise floor, I see, uh, I see the best results having it set for amp one. Now let's look at the last thing here. We, uh, as we said, we have this set for amp one and you could go to amp two or whatever, but let's look at attenuation. There's the ability to set for six, 12 and 18 dB of attenuation. One thing that we don't want to do is to run on amp two and then try to attenuate down the noise because it just doesn't work well that way. We're gonna talk about the noise and how to reduce that here in a minute. But the first thing you wanna do is unless you're dealing with a very strong signal or something like that where it's a real benefit, you don't want to have attenuation on while you have an amplifier on too. You end up doing what's counterproductive there. You're amplifying noise and you're trying to filter your noise out. It's best to try to filter out the noise using some things that we'll see here in just a minute. Okay, the next thing that we need to go to is the, uh, the DNR feature. As you can see, I have DNR turned on and that's down here on your radio. That is this button right here. If you press this button, what you will see is that it turns DNR on and off right there. If you hold the button in, you have 15 levels of DNR noise filtering. It's different algorithms that the radio uses for different situations. Now in my case, what I notice is DNR levels one through seven. As you can see, it goes one through 15. In my case, I, f I find that one through seven seem like one particular algorithm and you adjust the, the level on that. Uh, options eight through 11 are another one, and then 12 through 15 are a third set. What I typically have mine set for is what you see right here, somewhere in the area of nine, 10, or 11. At the end, we're gonna leave this set on 11, just depending on what your noise situation is at the particular time on the particular frequency, but somewhere between 10 and 11 generally works really well for me. And that's what I leave it set on. It tends to reduce background noise. I'm in a, uh, a particularly noisy area and it reduces background noise without uh, interfering with the signal that I'm trying to pick up too bad. So the next thing that we want to look at, there's several things in this section right here. If you can see where the cursor is, uh, I'll point to it on the screen. It's this section right here. What we have, if we click on this, is uh, we have four options. There is shift. We're going to have to click on it several times here. Shift, width, notch, and contour. And if we, if, we, if we click on this, shift, well, let's see here. We have shift, it changes fast. Shift, width, notch, and contour. The only thing that I use on a regular basis is contour. And as you can see, I have that turned on and the and it's set for 15 1500 hertz so let's talk about this for a minute when we're looking at contour the arch that you see right there is amplification that is done in that particular region of the signal that we're receiving so you can take that particular area and you can amplify it 
you can notch it out if it's causing you a problem or you can have it off completely i typically leave it on and let me show you where this is adjusted to get this notch because there's two ways you can go first notice that this is arched upward to amplify now we're going to go and we're going to adjust it the other direction you go to the main menu operation settings receive dsp and then you see contour level we're at a plus 20. now if we take and we just hold down the cursor here and reduce it all the way it goes to a negative 40. the range is a minus 40 to a plus 20. once we get that we click back a few times now you can see that what we have here is attenuation within this pass band right here i do not use the attenuation within the pass band i prefer to use that as gain in the middle of the pass band of the signal that i'm trying to receive so we're going to set this back to a plus 20. and there we go we click back a couple of times back and now again we have our arch right here this amplifies the area that we're trying to listen to okay so as i said the only thing that i use to in this area right here that i keep on is the contour and i have the contour set to amplify the center of this pass band right here now let's talk about the one other thing that i do that reduces noise and it really does a good job because uh, it, it keeps me from going back into the uh, dnr feature and trying to pick a different uh, noise reduction algorithm and everything else once you and now unfortunately i can't display this on the video because you're pr not going to be able to pick up the di the difference in noise uh very easily but let me tell you what i do first is rather than messing with any of these other settings that are that we looked at previously let, let's review this again automatic gain control is set to auto uh the uh, dnf feature is set to own we have no noise reduction turned on with the algorithm that we select. We have amp one on and attenuation off. Along with our contour feature set to amplify this right here. Now what I have found that does the best in reducing noise, and I haven't seen this anywhere else, is how you manage your RF gain slash squelch knob and your AF gain. So let's look at these for a second. There are your knobs right here. Now the, the tendency you would think would be to turn your RF gain all the way up and I'll provide some volume. Well, we don't have a signal so it doesn't do any good. The, 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 you would think that to have your RF gain all the way up would be a good thing. And then to use your AF gain to manage your volume. But what works really well is go ahead and turn your, your, your gain up to a point where you can hear it. And then when you come across a signal, use your RF gain squelch knob. And you can turn it all the way up to begin with. But turn it back, and you're going to find a spot that, and I don't know if you can hear this or not, where it really starts to reduce background noise. And what it will do is it will reduce that background noise without reducing the signal of the uh, person that you're trying to hear. So again, let, let me say this one more time. You can turn your volume all the way up or as loud as you need to to be able to hear everything. And then use your RF gain squelch knob, turning it clockwise. 
and counterclockwise to find that sweet spot for the signal that you're listening to. Now it's very, very sensitive. Once you get on top of it, it just takes a, a fraction of a turn. I mean, just if it had a notch in it, you would fit. You, it would only be like one notch, but a fraction of a return of a turn will take it from a point where you've got noise to a point where you have no noise and you hear the person talking more cl more clearly than you would even believe. So with the other f options set up here, like we have them, and then, and then using your RF gain in combination with your volume knob, again, not really messing with your volume to try to hear, but take this RF gain and you can filter out an unbelievable amount of noise with that knob right there. Once you've got all your other settings that match your environment where you're working, use the RF gain knob. Once you have your volume set, use that RF gain knob to filter out and fine tune that noise out of the signal that you're listening to. So I hope this is helpful to somebody. If it is, give the video a thumbs up, share it with somebody else. This probably would work the same on some of the other Yezu models using your, uh, your different filters and features and abilities and capabilities of the radio. So uh, again, hope it's been, this has been beneficial and helpful to people. And if so, please share, give it a thumbs up and be watching for the next video. And for now, I'll say so long.